Well, hey guys, and welcome to another video on our Bernie Family YouTube channel, our Facebook page, obviously. Kids are over there making their, their lunch just now. I You've got some. Breakfast, you have your breakfast. Have anything at all today. Yeah. David's got. Oh, hey, come and show. Come and show. We're going to do a lot of wild carpet soon, guys. Look. There we go. Ooh. Sticky toffee pudding. Boil in the bag, sticky toffee pudding. Me and David are hitting a wild carpet very short. Mm -hmm. But beforehand, guys. We went up and my brother and I went up and shot a video up at the um, it's a place just outside our hometown of Elgin called Kellis. And uh, it was absolutely brilliant, you know, as you'll see in the video coming up. But what I wanted to do and, and just beforehand guys was just show you the flies we actually used. So it did take us a couple of hours to get dialed in. The weather conditions are a bit tricky, but because of the time of year we basically started off with buzzers. And I'm not really a, a, a big expert in buzzers, but we tried off with us first, you know, but nothing really quite going. Then a guy that I spoke to beforehand, local knowledge is always good, guys, he caught a couple and grind them at the same spot on a black fly. That didn't work, so I switched on to one of these, uh, I got this from another, another trout farm, and they uh, popped on that. But basically, guys, once we stuck on the go-to fly, the green olive, boom, that was it. So in this video, guys, there's five fish between myself and my, my brother and Neil. And hopefully you see in it, guys, you know, just, just in the early stages, you just have to go by that trial and error. You don't know how deep the fish are, what the fancy that day. And you'll see in the video they're jumping all around us and just couldn't hit them onto the green of and everything sort of change, you know. So guys, I really hope you enjoy the video. Uh, so we have a trip from here right out to the Kellis. Here we are guys, this is apparently the bait pond over at this side, so I'll have to remember that for David and whatnot. But uh, there's a bit of a pond over the other side as well, but it's really nice eh guys? Just give you a quick look around before we get going. Ah, oh, it's awesome. As all those guys were sorted and ready to go, got some coffee and everything, it looks really nice today. It's quite overcast as well. I'm sure the sun will come out a couple of times, but pretty much overcast. So guys, it's a quick look at uh, putting the leader on. Oh. Well, that's a wee bit frayed there, it's going to be difficult to get it in, so I'll just trim right, it off. Trim that, right. Get it looking good, and then you pinch it together to open it. See? Very, very fiddly. Ah, it does. And try and, get, try and get in there. Yeah, I think maybe, guys, it's, it's quite a... A bit of an inexpensive leader. Maybe the it would be worth getting a bit better quality. Is that okay? There we go. We're just we're getting it. There we go. And it clips on, doesn't it? Yeah. So you can just kind of shimmy it up. Yeah. So that's the leader going on, guys. Does it have to go all the way down? Does it? No, just a good bit though. I would have it away doing. And generally, it's like. Um, Blue, you reckon as well? Just to... it should. Well, you can see how this is made, so it should grip it, and it yeah. and it would. If you look at the instructions, it wouldn't tell you to glue it, but there's for the angling center. I mean, he's just a wee bit. He would make sure it was glued, just to make yeah, sure. Yeah. It's fair enough, isn't it? Forget that. Bit. I mean, that's going to take some grip on it, actually, by itself. Yeah. So, guys, we've got about five pound leaders. I'm sure, pretty sure we'll get that. Eight pound. Hey guys, so here we go. So obviously just what we showed you, just using the buzzers guys, nice and slow retrieve, and we're just chatting, local knowledge is king, but... Uh, one of the guys just caught a couple of this side here, he was saying, so, got the wind behind us, so hopefully we'll get something in this spot, I'll maybe just move up past, yeah, so you can see how slow the retrieve is guys. Very, very slow, but like Neil was just saying, if you caught that, sorry, it's very windy. Uh, you can kind of retrieve at any speed you want, really. Seems to be like a really good all-round fly, this one. And we saw a fish rise just there, I think I caught it on the edge of the camera, so... Might as well get cracking. Yeah, so guys, I'm just going to go with this very, very slow retrieve just now, down the edge. Typically, as the camera's off, Neil just missed one, but hopefully it'll hang around a bit. 
Yeah, so I'm just going to take it on really slow. I've seen a couple of rise here, and I think Neil's got one or two rising over there. I can't see why we won't get one today, guys. But the guy did say there may be a, a couple of feet down. And I'm fishing, I don't know, a foot or so down maybe, so we'll just have to wait and see. This rod's really nice. Uh, what a difference. It's lovely. Really nice. There's one just jumped right there, guys. Yeah, I'm definitely getting the rise, and I didn't see if there were, weren't really any kind of a big size. There's one right there, look. On there. Well, they're certainly rising for us, guys. And Neil was just saying, well, maybe we'll switch over to a, a dry fly on the surface. But the wind is pushing a wee bit, so maybe just worth a wee bit longer with the blood burn buzzer. You can see how windy it is though, guys. Try just a bit of a faster retrieve, just see if we can get any of these guys interested. And some stopped rising now. <laughs> just as I said, though, look at that. Come on for my way, dude. Eh, you're not big, but... Right there, look at him. <laughs> he just will not go for this. <laughs> he will just not go for this at all, guys. Uh, so we'll just, <coughs> just switch on the dry fly now, guys. Just have a quick look. They seem to be r rising rather well for them. The uh, wind is really coming. Hopefully you'll see that dry fly just sort of going across the surface there. That's what they seem to keep coming up for. Try and cast just in between blasts of wind. See what we can come up with. The guy we spoke to just before we started was using a black, a dry fly black, so that's what I'm on now. Neil's still going to hit the buzzers. <laughs> Fish just jumped right there again as well. Still can't quite get them interested in what we're showing. Right, so guys, I'm going to switch on to one of these homemade jobs that I was given at the last place we were at, the Rothless Glen. So I'm really hoping this is going to be the boy because they keep rising. They're just not taken. Now let's see what we've got here. Give them a proper lure to chase now, you guys. Look at this thing. Yeah, yeah they're definitely down in this corner here. So Neil's trying to... He's got his uh, buzzers on there, but he's also got a, a wet fly on the end as a dropper. So here's hoping either of us, we'll just see if it works. It's painful. Look at, look at the fish right next to us. Right at the edge. So we've tried the buzzers, we've tried black, now we've got something really multicoloured going across the surface. So, let's see. Hey, 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 So there we are, guys. Oh, last was that on the olive? The olive, right. I'm going to switch off mine. Check out and go see what we've got. <laughs> I'm starting to lose faith there. <laughs> He's not finished yet, is he? Do you want me to get next it? Are you okay? Yeah, he's huge, he's but he's lovely. Look at the sight, look at this one. Yeah. In she comes. Very nice. Lovely fish, do you? Really nice. So, guys, that was basically Neil switching on this green olive type fly, look. And look at that beautiful fish. Absolutely beautiful. 
Well, we've tried and tried and now we're onto this, guys. So, yeah, the olive will keep cracking on, then, eh? Quick retrieve and green olive, right, guys? I think we might be in business now, then. Yeah, so Neil just caught with that olive, guys, and I'll just show you what we're talking about. One of these. And we've tried a few different types now, tried the buzzers and whatnot. And it's always good if you're out here with someone else for each of you to try something different, especially if you're not catching. So, have we finally hit it? I wonder. Let's see how we get on with this one then. So I'm going to have to be quite quick, keep eyes on this fly. Let's see. And we're on. Here we go, guys. My turn. Whoa. Ah, uh, my turn. I think he's probably about the same size as your one. Eh, uh, looks like I like it. I'll let him tire out just a wee bit. Ah, uh, once you get your first one, isn't it? Ah, oh, here we go. Ah, oh, Neil's here, look. Go on then, partner. Oh, he's off again, look. There, how's that? Looks oh, a bit the same, isn't it? Ah, it's pretty funny, you know, we've fishing for a couple of hours and I was, my mind was miles away there, actually. <laughs> oh, me. That's good, it's always nice to get the first one. But yeah, guys, I mean, that's just basically switched on to the, the green olives and it's just it's now hot and it's just switched on. Both me and Neil have had a fish pretty close together, so it's a good sign. Because they're certainly here, guys, look at that. I'm not getting them to take. Oh, run again, y'all! Yay! So there we go, guys. Yes, we're definitely switching on with this green olive now. I've got Neil's landing net right here, so I'm sure we'll manage ourselves, eh? Just keep it nice, keep it nice and tight, guys. I don't think he's huge, but ah, oh, should be fine, Neil. Should be the same again, aye. Right? I think I'll take him over here. Whoa! <laughs> he's lively. There we go, guys. Let's get him over. Come on, Chappy. I think I've hooked him really nicely as well, actually. He's still not ready yet. He is still not ready yet, guys. He's still fighting. Goodness me. This thing's gone bananas. He is going bananas. Got ya! Alright, so here we go, Chubby. Well done, you. Up some fight. Oh, that was a wee fight, that. Yeah, I'll get you back in as soon as, big boy. Yeah, a nice wee catch right there, look. That's lovely. There you go, my friend. I'm sorry. Yeah, so there you go, guys. That was a nice fish. We'll take a couple of quick photos, eh? It's always nice. Yes, he's lovely, guys. Look at him. Whoa! You're okay, chap. You're okay. Oh, that's a decent fish, that one, you That one's definitely bigger than the last, look. Yeah, so here we are moving, guys. We're just over there. And yeah, it's, that bit was paying off big style, guys. But again, the guy that owns the place sit down here is really, really good. So, we're going to hit this. And if somebody got a 30-pound trout down there yesterday, my, oh my, guys. That's a decent fish for this fishery. So let's see if we can't do bigger and better, eh? Nice, really, the little... I wonder if he rents them out. I suppose he does. Ah, uh, so hopefully you're seeing there, guys, it's starting to just get a wee bit tricky. The wind seems to come up and then it goes back down again for a bit, you know? But it certainly has not stopped the fish jumping. Oh, here we go. 
All right, guys, here we are. Nice. Whoa. Whoa. There we go. All right, guys, let's see what we do here. He's actually taken lines. He's either a seriously tough fishy or he's actually quite big. Let's see. You've seen him out of the water. Ah, lovely fish. The condition of the mat are actually really great. He's not ready yet. He's always oh, a way I can't give him spot me that he's just went for it. He is fighting. Flipping heck. Nice one, young man. Nah, he's not going to give up. Do you think, is he? Yeah, so guys, I was just saying earlier, Neil's got two on. And this is, might be on the zonker. The black one, the dropper, as it were. He is flipping fighting. Come on, young man. Nice. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, it's just fighting us all the fight all the way here. Wow, this is what you want though. Guy will be Aye, that's really good, isn't it? Let's get the next stall already. So for those of you that maybe not fish before, the fish tend to sort of tire themselves out. Oh! This guy, this guy wasn't, this guy wasn't ready. He, whoa! Come on! I'll let it up out. <laughs> I know, whoa! Oh, he's nice, that's bigger. Maybe a bit bigger there, maybe bigger again. Oh, there we go, guys. How nice is that? He's a decent one, isn't he? Wow. Really nice. I'll show you how to put them back as well, guys. Oh, it was a nice wee fight, that. Absolutely nothing wrong with him. And off he goes. We've got a wee half hour left, which is great, so I've popped down to this bottom lock part here. It's just getting way too windy up, up top. So I'm going to try this bit here, and Neil's going to try that bit over there. But again, it looks like these green olives are the boys today. They are going to be now the go-to fly, but I think they were always the go-to fly right enough. That's a lot of wind now. That's a lot, a lot of wind now behind our backs. Yeah, there's fish right here, you guys. It's sort of moving around, but just can't seem to entice any towards the green olive again. Let's keep concentrating, guys. Yeah, so the rumour is there was a 13 pound trout taken out here the other day and apparently on here there's rainbows, browns, blues, you know, there's there's quite a lot. So we'll give this place a, a try and see what we can do. Again, I'm really trying to, you know, catch actually hooking these fish on the auction camera, which isn't easy. But I just saw one rise right there, so there he goes again. Let's see if he can resist the green. Come on, Betsy, where are you? Come on, guys. Never to pick up too quick in case there was a fish following. Yeah, so with the fishing these days, guys, you know, you get a lot of these guys that do a lot of, you know, the under under the water stuff for cameras, you know. And they've seen a lot of these things, like just what we're doing just now. There's three or four fish coming up, taking a look. There's even ones that are following it in. And of course, all you really see from here is just there's nothing, you know, until you get a fish. But, you know, it's well worth just playing around a little bit, trying different techniques in the same place. There's one right there, see, guys? Let's see if we can just pull in through there. I don't think he's a big one, though. Yeah, 13 pound, that's what we've been told. That is a monster for a, a fish like fishery like this, you know. 
Really, really good. Here we are, guys. We're in. And just the blue Oliver, and green Oliver again. Where is he? There he goes. And nice and nice and big this time, but it's okay. I would say so, yeah. It's rare you see these, eh? I wonder if he's just a, an egg that made it from, you know, I mean, a natural. Yeah, so there we go, guys. That are smaller than but who cares? Off he goes. Happy as Larry. <laughs>